Match Color is a very important tool that will really help you make one image blend more believably with the rest. Right now I have a pretty cheerful duck on a more rainy background and they do not look like they're getting along at the moment. I'm going to be on my duck layer. I'm going to go to Image and Adjustments and towards the bottom is Match Color. This window will come up and at the moment I don't have a selection in place so there is no place for me to choose these. We'll talk about that in just a second. Towards the bottom it says Source. I need to tell it what the document is in question. Right now I only have one here open at the moment. If you had more than one tab open, you might have more than one choice. Once I've chosen the document, I need to tell it what layer is going to be the source, where do you want to get the colors from. And in this case, I would like to get the colors from the background layer. You'll notice immediately the duck has changed colors. Okay. We have gone to a lot of green and a much darker situation happening here. The fade slider here will be super helpful because I don't really want it to be this green, but I don't want it to be all the way bright either. So this decides how much or how little of that color change is going to happen. What do you want? You can click and unclick the preview button at any point to see before or after. That seems pretty reasonable. And you can see it's just taking the mood and the tone, the colors of this background, and applying it to my duck so it looks far more believable at being here. So I'm not going to apply because instead I want to show you how a selection happens. So we'll cancel. And now I'm going to take the lasso tool and I'm just going to grab a chunk of this sky. So some of that blue up there. Again, I'm still on my duck layer. Again, we'll go to adjustments and match color. At this point, because I have a selection, now these are available to click. So I again need to tell it the source. It is this file. I need to tell it what layer. The background layer. Notice nothing has changed because Photoshop is waiting for me to tell it what should it do about the selection. How do I want this to work? So my first question is, should it ignore the selection when applying the adjustment? Well, I want to change the duck and my selection's way up here. So yes, I would like Photoshop to ignore where the selection is when making changes. There, now we've got change already. But I have two more check boxes down here to see. So let's read those and see what to do. The first one is to use the selection in the source to calculate the colors. So my source is this document and the layer is the background layer. So yeah, I would like it to use the colors that are in the source here in this selection to calculate what colors to use. The next question is, do you use the selection in the target, the destination, to calculate? Well, again, here's my duck, here's the selection, so no, please don't. Notice we get even more, just the same colors blew up there without the other information happening. The fade button works again. There's probably not a great reason to make my duck blue. but Depending on where you are trying to match color, sometimes you don't want all of the document color. Sometimes you only want a specific area. And having a selection in place can help make this tool even more specific. 